Ready to live at the higher vibrations, where peace, love, joy, and good health are the daily standard? That's what this show is all about. Welcome to Vibe. And here's your host, Robin Openshaw. Hey everyone, I'm Robin Openshaw. I'm the green smoothie girl online for 18 years now. And I can't even count how many times that someone has told me that they know that a supplement works because they felt something when they took it. Or whether it was coincidental or not, they got better at approximately the same time that they took the supplement. So let's just take a look at this with some new thinking. Just in case a few of you are open to the possibility that a logical fallacy may be at work here. The holy grail in the chemical and pharmaceutical industries, they are the manufacturers of 99% of what you think of as supplements after all. I have to use quotation marks around supplements because there's less difference between drugs and supplements than many think. That holy grail product is a pill that makes you feel something. Pharma knows that people tend to repurchase something that made them feel or notice something happening. Sometimes it's something we like. I really like that when I'm using my ultimate minerals, which I trust, I notice that my hair and fingernails grow twice as fast. On a rare occasion, supplements are made by small businesses and are herbs or minerals direct from ancient plant deposits in their natural state as our ultimate minerals are, or some natural substance that does fill in a gap or help the body's many healing processes do their jobs better. But really, anything people notice will do and will get sales racking up. The pill could even make you sick. And marketers can spin this as a good thing. For decades, a pill called niacinamide, a chemical compound which has a molecule in common with some foods, so astonishingly it's called vitamin B3 on labels, has been known as a detoxifier. And when I tell you why, you probably won't believe me. But the pill is made of coal tar, ammonia, and formaldehyde. And you can go research this for yourself. You shouldn't believe it just because I said it. You should go find this out for yourself. You turn red, you sweat a lot, and you might even throw up when you take it. You're told that means it's working, which reminds me of my neighbor crawling out of her bed five days after her COVID vaccine. She came blinking out into the sunlight at the pool and she told me, my being so sick for five days means it's working, right? Her husband had been sick only four days after his. Your body certainly does detoxify after you take niacinamide, also called vitamin B3. But not for the reason people think who take this pill. They think that they're taking a vitamin, which they assume to be a natural, good-for-you substance, that assists their body in eliminating toxins that have built up there. In fact, the simpler concept is usually the more likely one, as you know from the famous principle of Occam's razor. You're just poisoning yourself with very well-documented poisons, and so your body acts like it does when it's poisoned, quickly getting rid of the toxins the best it can to save your life. There are thousands of doctors all over the world who haven't figured out this amazing sleight of hand and even sell this product with their label on it, even though Just from the ingredients alone, anyone should be able to do a quick Google search, find out that coal tar and ammonia and formaldehyde shouldn't be consumed, and that they have well-known toxic effects in humans. You could do a quick Google search and learn that highly bioavailable vitamin B is found in brown rice and peanuts and mushrooms and avocados. So Nobody turns red and sweats a lot and throws up from eating those foods, right? Fact is, the supplement industry, which actually in most cases is the pharmaceutical industry, even if they sell it to your doctor to put his label on it or markets through him paying him a commission, is allowed to call a substance a vitamin if it has a molecule in common with what science believes to be some kind of nutrient found in food or in the human body. Let me say that again. You're allowed to call it a vitamin if it has a molecule in common with something in the natural world that they think may be a nutrient, no matter what else is in that pill. It doesn't matter at all if that nutrient or molecular compound is manufactured using solvents and acids. 
if additives are in the pill to make it last years on the shelf, if high heat is used in the manufacture, if no food whatsoever was involved in the manufacture of that vitamin, which is the case with literally 99% plus of the quote unquote B vitamins, they're still allowed to call it a vitamin and sell it to you as having something to do with your health or replacing food somehow. Anyway, I'm not really accusing your doctor who sells you this stuff of anything besides not knowing any of this. Let's hope your doctor just doesn't know he's making a lot of money selling you formaldehyde and ammonia and coal tar. Sadly, some do. And by the time they figure it out, they're making too much money to quit doing it. So some of you will get mad at me in the comments because you felt something or taking some pill coincided with the time period that your body's immune system actually did its work and helped you get well from something. A few years ago, I was at a friend's house for dinner and a couple offered to let us come to their frog poisoning ceremony where we were to consume some venom from a frog and then we sat around together throwing up into our own personalized buckets and apparently we were to have some kind of transcendent group experience. Despite the really good deal that I was offered of only a few hundred dollars for the puking ceremony, I did turn that experience down. What a number the supplement industry has done on us mentally. We've been robbed of the ability to credit the human immune system for doing what it always does thousands of times in our lives. Our body's many immune functions write the course for us, putting us back into homeostasis. I mean, for heaven's sake, every time you've drank alcohol, it's done that for you. We've been taught by marketers and doctors that some substance got us better. The most you could ever hope for a substance to do is A, cover up a symptom such as Tylenol or an opiate drug, or B, assist the body's immune system, sometimes the case with an herb or a superfood, maybe a homeopathic. The substance itself cannot make you get better. Only your own body can do that. And your own body is more powerful than most people realize. It's one of the most common logical fallacies to mix up correlation with causation, such as, well, I felt better taking vitamin D, right? So it doesn't matter that it's cholecalciferol or rat poison it got me better from COVID. It didn't actually get anyone well from COVID, although steroids do make you feel better in the short term. The problem is they also hurt your immune system in the midterm and the long term. And the synthetic compound cholecalciferol also leaches your body of magnesium, potassium, calcium, and other minerals. That's actually how cholecalciferol sold as rodent killer kills mice and rats. Only the rats are given a bigger dose per pound of body weight, whereas you get the negative effects, but more slowly. We do not need coal tar, ammonia, and formaldehyde to make up for deficiencies in your diet. We just don't. You also don't need your face to turn red, your stomach to hurt, your whole body to break out in a violent sweat or to throw up to detoxify naturally. These are the kinds of things that your body does when it's in serious danger. I know some people will get mad and maybe as this awareness spreads and maybe you'll hear this from another researcher and health and wellness expert besides me who doesn't sell vitamin B, Um, the seeds at least planted here. Sometimes you hear it the first time and it's the second or the third health and wellness expert who explains it to you, which is where you finally go, okay, something's very strange here. You're certainly not going to hear this information from influencers and doctors selling quote unquote vitamin B or the latest rage since people discovered that they have the MTHFR gene, PS, we all do, methylated vitamin B. I hope you appreciate that while I know I'm taking on a very powerful industry and that often makes both those who profit by those products and those who buy them pretty mad, my only real interest is that you have informed consent. You should know what's in your pills and I'll see you next time. 